It's the weekly reset, and we're going to go over what's new for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Regulus here, and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell. That way, you guys don't miss out on anything. So, like always, we're going to start with the milestones first. We have uh, Choose a Faction, which you need to pledge your loyalty to one of the city factions. That is either New Monarchy, Future War Cult, or Dead Orbit. Then we have Flashpoint on Mercury, which you need to complete public events. And if you do the heroic versions of this, then you can get it done a lot faster. And remember, that is on Mercury. Then we have three heroic strikes that you need to complete. Then we have Leviathan, which you need to complete the raid or the raid lair. Then we have the Nightfall. And this week's Nightfall is on the Inverted Spire. Modifiers on this are Momentum, which Health and Shield Regeneration stop when you're not moving, Sprint to speed up Regeneration, and then we have Time Warp Rings, which Vex Time Gates have appeared in the area, pass through them to discharge Temporal Energy and extend the Mission Timer. Next we have Call to Arm, which you need to participate in Crucible Matches, and then we have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, or World Activities. So, let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse for this week. Welcome to Eververse. We are going to start with the wonderful uh, emotes. We have Get Up. Then we have Disco Dance. For our vehicles, we have Velos Knight. Pretty much just a reskin. Then we have Kabar's Glass Aegis, which is Kabar's ship from the Vault of Glass. Looks pretty nice. Then for ornaments, we have the Black Plague for the Rat King. as well as the Titanium Alloy for the Mita Multi-Tool. For the Armor of the Week, we have the Class Items. For the Warlock, it is a Warlock Bond, and it is the Omega Mechanos Bond. And that's pretty much what it looks like. For Ghosts, we have the Pintail Ghost, And then we have your Solar Effects Transmat Effect. Shaders, we have the Indigo Matrix. And then we have the Descendant Vex Chrome. Pretty much just makes you look old and rusty. And then we have your wonderful Fire Team Medallion and your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard as well as of the Crucible. Don't forget to visit Cade 6 in order to go ahead and grab these treasure maps from him. As I said before, don't forget to pledge your allegiance to a faction. This time around, I am actually going to go with Future War Cult on my Warlock. And then I am going to go on New Monarchy with my Hunter. And then Dead Orbit with my Titan. And I actually want this True Prophecy because, yeah, I had somebody request that I do a video with it. So I'm going to grind the shit out of this just to try to get that. So, <sighs> yay grind. Now real quick, I do want to go over update 1.1.3 with you guys real quick. So on February 27th, which is a week from today, we will be getting uh, Nightfall scoring and high score tracking. Emblems and aura will be reworked. The fire team members will be able to be seen on the destination map. The PC version of Destiny 2 will get a public text chat. Obviously, um, you'll be able to opt in for that, and that will specifically be in social areas. And then we'll be getting an exotic repetition reduction, so hopefully we won't be getting the same exotics one after the other. Uh, we will be getting companion mod and shader interactions, whatever the hell that is, as well as companion vendor viewing, which not entirely sure what that is. And we are also supposed to get... Nightfall Strike Unique Rewards. However, 
Not entirely sure if that's actually going to happen. There is an asterisk on that that says these features are uh, stretch goals that have a chance to slip to a later release. So we'll find out if that actually happens next week. And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, feel free to watch each other's two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.